show. What'd you guys think of the show? Very cool. Very excited. So, what is it like to go from something as dark as the Vampire Diaries to something as dark as Cult? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's dark. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a, a very synchronistic and fortuitous sort of transition, which I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to bridge from one dark show to another that is also totally very different, you know, where Vampire Diaries is supernatural, Cult is, is not either. So, I, I like being able to move into a world that's a little more grounded in the, in, in, in the human psychology. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited. Now you're no stranger to cult faces. How does it feel about now making a show about you know? It, it's a, it's a little strange. I got to be honest. It's, it's it, like the parallels I, I, I find intriguing. Uh, I'm excited about it. You know, I'm excited that television is having a sort of uh, renaissance in the way that it's relating to social media and how social media is affecting fans and how fans now have complete access to, to actors and creators and shows. So it, it, it's changing the dynamic radically, I think. And so it's, it's cool to be on a show that creatively addresses that in, in, in a darker sense. You know, so the, it, does parts of the show feel like, okay, yeah, this comes too close to some of the stuff I've experienced? You know? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's ever come to, to, to the extremes that cult you know, takes it, but I, I certainly like that it, it addresses it as a theme. Yeah. Can I ask you what your plans are for returning to the Vampire um, I think, I mean, I think there are plans. I think there are plans to come back to the capacity of which I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Have you talked to the producers? I have. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it will be. It, it definitely will be weird. I mean, I, I, and I, I keep, it's weird being here, too, with Vampire Diaries, and they're all flying in. And, like, Ian keeps asking me, he's like, are you, are you here for Vampire Diaries or for Cole? Here for cold, which is odd. So it, it is interesting to sort of parallel them and odd, and it'll be to cross over and cross back will be an experience. So it's great. I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled by it. Was, I don't know how exactly that would play out creatively. Yeah, yeah. Nobody ever really does. No, I know. Which is always sucks being a, a, as an actor because you want to be able to provide more answers than you really have. <laughs> so you just got to dance around the same sort of. What's it like working with Robert Neffer? I only, I only actually have one scene with Robert, and, and it was great. I mean, I, 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 I've not spent a lot of time with Robert personally, but I love him, and I love him. I thought it was fantastic on the show, and I'm looking forward to doing more work with him. Um, yeah, it, it terrifies me. Like, I'm totally intimidated by doing the room, so it works. It definitely works, but he's, he's great. It's kind of like you. You guys give that kind of really strong performance, but you're kind of low-key and fun off set or off street. So it's got to be kind of interesting to work with somebody you're, again, terrified of. and congenial, so it, it definitely is sort of counterintuitive to, to what he and I are bringing to the screen. For sure. How far ahead do you know where the storyline is going? I, I have no idea. Past this, the pilot. I've talked to Rockney about it, and they're still writing it, but I, I don't have any, any idea, so we'll, we'll see. I'll be curious. I'll be curious. What was your first impression upon reading the pilot script? I mean... I was I was surprised that the CW was gonna do it. You know, I thought I thought in terms of in terms of just the tone and, and, and the content, I thought it was I thought it was really smart. I thought it was really engaging. I thought it paralleled like the whole Twitter thing <laughs> phenomena in this really uh, dynamic and creepy way that I was really inspired by. So um, I was happy when I read it. I mean, I, I, again, my head's still spinning because it's really like the first script I read and it, was, it became an offer. And then now we're at Comic Con. It's just happened so quickly, you know, I, I, my head's still spinning. Does this show make you feel a little more paranoid about some of the social media now? Yeah, no. No, not really. Not really. My, my, I, I've gone through my paranoid phase, so that's, that's all gone. So, But I, I, like, I like being able to play upon it creatively and telling a story that that feeds on paranoia and, and will allow a lot of leeway to explore engaging the audience you know, through social media, through the show. I mean, my, my personal favorites in terms of films and whatnot are psychological dramas and things that play on the psyche. So I prefer I prefer that aspect to Paul than I do the Vampire Diaries, 
where Vampire Diaries is all very supernatural. Like you, for me, you become sort of disconnected from the terror a little bit because it's so supernatural. But with this, it's it's rooted in a reality that makes it more interesting and, and ultimately scary. I think. Yeah, one of the scariest things I noticed when I was when that gas station scene, it seemed like Robert Nutter's character was actually talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Have been either way. So yeah. Now I go to the gas station and see those screens, and I'm like, no way. Yeah. Which is really cool because I would, I would like for that to be able to happen. Whoever watches the show, next time they find themselves pumping gas and they see the screens, they'll think twice. And I, and I like that. I like yeah. that. I have a feeling the show is going on could be one of those ones that is not great to watch alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they have to be like, mm, I don't know, it's a little too Well, I know, like, I know too, I think, I don't know if they passed them out yet, but in the show we have that disc that you put into your computer and it uploads all your information to wherever. I know they're going to be handing out discs that link to your Facebook page. So if you. about the disappearance of Jeff's brother? Well, I mean, that is certainly the, the impetus that, that, that jumpstarts the whole narrative. And so how far and how long he'll be missing, how long I'll be tracking him down, I don't know. It, it's hard to say but right now, so it's, but it, it definitely is what triggers him into the cult. So how long do you think it'll take your character to realize that they've got to check everyone's hands for the symbol? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, hopefully not too long. <laughs> This show poses a lot of questions. Do you prefer shows that you know have you know a lot of questions that yeah. you prefer being in the dark? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I prefer the ambiguity. I prefer being in the dark. I, I think it just it keeps it dynamic. It keeps it fresh. Anytime you start to collapse down into the answers, you're done. Does keep you on your toes as an actor? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I do. I do like that. I mean, I, it, it's certainly a lot of actors want to know all the answers. They want to have all that laid out and. and for me, it's better creatively to not know and, and to let that, that, that uncertainty sort of like weave itself through your choices. So I think, it's, I think it makes it better. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.